In this tutorial, we will show you a few ways to decode your video feed from a Sputnik server. The best way to receive your video feed is using a Teradek cube or a slice decoder. In our video, Configuring Bond to Sputnik, we go over the inbound and outbound settings of the video feed. With our encoder configured to MPEG transport stream, we will be able to receive the video feed on our decoder over Sputnik. I have connected a cube decoder to my router via Wi-Fi, providing access to the public internet. My computer is also on the same network as my decoder. This allows me to use the Terra Central app to access my cube decoder options. Click Configure Settings. The password is admin. Go to Video Setup and click Decoder Settings. As explained in the Bond to Sputnik video, there are two methods to receive an MPEG transport stream from Sputnik. Pulling the stream from stream server mode and listening for a pushed stream via stream push mode. A pushed stream is when Sputnik is actively sending the video feed to a specific IP address or network. Let's start with configuring our decoder to pull the stream from the server. Select the TCP pool protocol. For host, enter the public IP address of your Sputnik. For port, enter your Sputnik's outbound port. When configuring the Sputnik, we left the outbound listening port at the default, which is 5000. For the decoder, 5000 is also the default. Note, if there are multiple encoders sending to the Sputnik, they will each have a unique outbound port. Make sure you match the port of your decoder to the according encoder port that you would like to pull. Once you have entered this information, set the output settings of your decoder and click Apply. That is how you configure pulling a stream when Sputnik is in stream server mode. Now, let's go over configuring the decoder to listen for a pushed stream from your Sputnik. In our video, Configuring Bond to Sputnik, we showed you how to configure your Sputnik to push to an IP address. When configuring the MPEG transport stream push mode, a protocol must be set. Please see our UDP versus TCP tutorial for more information about these transport methods. The protocol that you select on your Sputnik's outbound push settings must match the decoder's inbound protocol settings. When looking at the Sputnik outbound push settings, the destination address and port must be specified. If your decoder is on the same network as your Sputnik, enter the local IP address of your decoder. If your decoder is in a separate location on a different network than your Sputnik, you input the public IP address of your location. The port setting must also match on the outbound push settings of your Sputnik and on the decoder. While you can customize this setting, we left this at the default, 9710. Depending on your network configuration, you may need to set port forwarding to bypass firewalls and route your public IP to your decoder. Another way to access your video stream is through a third-party free application called VLC. Visit videolan.org to download. When using VLC, it is most common to use MPEG transport stream server mode. VLC is able to pull the stream. Open VLC. Go to File, Open Network. Type in the protocol, colon, slash, slash. Type in the IP address of your Sputnik server, colon. Type in the outbound port setting, which we had set at the default, 5000. For further or advanced technical support, visit our help center at support.teradec.com. For more information about Teradec, visit teradec.com. 